Hey what's up everyone, CT and Technology News here and today I'm showing you the new Windows 10 technical preview that Microsoft actually just unveiled today. The biggest change obviously is the start menu. This time you've got a start menu that sort of combines Windows 7 and Windows 8. You've got the classic programs on the left and the Windows 8 lifestyle interface on, on the right and honestly I actually quite like the look of the new start menu. Everything's very customizable. You can choose exactly what you want to show. By default it's going to show the live tiles that you use most and that's a feature that's quite cool. Also this time you can actually reset size the start menu by clicking and dragging on the top, so if you like a really short start menu, you've now got that chance. Now if you don't want to see the new start menu and you'd prefer to see the start screen, there's an option for that. Just right click on the taskbar and you go to the options menu and you can actually select the box that says um, either show the start menu or don't show the start menu. It's really your choice and I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to see the start menu, but you can. The search function is also new to Windows 10. Um, it's on the taskbar and it brings up a little search dialog box when you click on the little magnifying glass. If you actually search for something, like I'm going to search for Windows 10 right here, it brings you results both from online and from your computer, which does provide some more overall continuity, which is a feature that Microsoft was trying to get right with Windows 8. Now, coming back to the start menu right here, if I go ahead and select, say, the Windows Store, it's actually opening up in the desktop this time around, rather than in the Metro interface like it did with Windows 8, and that's something that Microsoft's doing to try and appeal to more traditional desktop users. I'm really a big fan of how it is opening up in the desktop now. And actually, while I'm talking about that, Microsoft has also added some new multitasking abilities in Windows 10. As you can see, I've opened up a ton of programs right here, but if you click the button as I did, right next to the magnifying glass on the taskbar, you'll get a page that basically shows everything you currently have opened. It's what Microsoft is calling a multitasking page. And they've also got a button at the bottom that actually allows you to add a desktop so you can get an entirely new working environment and you can select exactly what apps you want to show in it, which yeah, that's a good for desktop users again. Another small thing, if you hadn't noticed, there are actually no borders around the windows this time round. Everything is just a, a window and it doesn't actually show anything around it. You just got the little bar at the top, but uh, other than that, it's actually just a window that hasn't got any bars around it. So this is interesting. So anyways, that's basically just a summary of all the really big new things that Microsoft has added to the Windows 10 technical preview. Honestly, I actually think this looks very nice and I think it's a pretty good compromise. I think that Microsoft is taking a good enough step back from Windows 8, the desktop users will be happy, but I think they're keeping enough of the ingredients that their mobile users won't feel too bad either. So anyways, let me know what you think of the technical preview in the comments below, and I will see you next time.